It's been a long time between visits, but Prince William has finally arrived for a brief tour of Australia. His first stop is Sydney, where on top of meeting with national dignitaries, he's also been mixing with the crowds. And after a traditional welcome with Aboriginal elders, he went walkabout in Redfern. This is the first time Prince William has stepped onto Australian soil as an adult. And while the security was tight, it was a low-key arrival with informal handshakes. The last time he was here, Prince William was just nine months old. He won the hearts of Australians who called him Willy Wombat. Now the 27-year-old prince, who's second in line for the throne, travels in a high-speed armed motorcade and stays at one of the finest harbourside homes in Sydney. At Admiralty House, Prince William lunched with hand-picked young Australians. But it was also a day to remember the first Australians. Welcome to Gattaca land, Aboriginal land. At Redfern, a birthplace of the Aboriginal rights movement. I'd just like to thank Prince William for coming here to the block today. I think it's very important. Mm. Yep, I it do. Is. Yeah, I mean, because Redfern has a really, uh, has a stigma about it and always has. And I think it's really good that he could come to see this today. It's great that he's in Australia, but for him to come here to Redfern, I think it's, it's just wonderful. Like his father before him, Prince William received gifts from Aboriginal leaders. And in return, they had something to ask for help in returning the remains of tribal warrior Pemelwoy, believed to be in Britain. It's in your hands now. Yeah. This is the generation that could decide the future role of the monarchy in Australia. But today they were giving the prince the thumbs up. He's billed as the shining light of the monarchy, but the Australian Republican movement insists two visits in 27 years means the royals are no longer relevant here. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.